Should Indians invest in US bonds? First, let's look at the yields that US bonds offer. These have risen massively in the past year and the current yield on the 10-year US Treasury stands at 4.64%. It is at a historically narrow gap compared to Indian bonds. So the comparable Indian government 10-year bond trades at 7.33%, which means that the gap between the two is a mere 2.69%. Still, you might argue that the US bond is yielding lower than the Indian bond. Now here, you have to keep in mind that the US bond pays out its interest and its principal in US dollars, and the US dollar tends to appreciate against the Indian rupee over time. Historically, this has been in the 3 to 4% range. So if you add an annual appreciation of 3 to 4% to this 4.64 figure, you reach somewhere between 7 to 8%, which is marginally more than what you will get in the India 10-year government bond. Even with respect to stocks, uh, this arithmetic has come close. So if you look at the current price to earnings ratio of the Nifty at 22 times, this translates to an earnings yield of 4.5%. That's actually a slightly lower than the yield that the US 10-year government bond is giving. Now, of course, you can't strictly compare an earnings yield with a bond yield because earnings grow over time. But this is a rough metric of comparison. So all things put together, the US debt market is trading at historically attractive valuations. But the question is, can you as an Indian invest in that market? There are multiple routes of doing this. So the first option is to invest through a feeder fund such as the Bandhan US Treasury Bond 0 to 1 year fund of funds or FOF. This all sounds very long and complicated, but basically it is a feeder fund that invests in US bonds of zero to one year maturity. And in fact, those bonds have an even higher yield of about 5.4% than the 10 year US government treasury. So this fund will allow you to invest in these short dated US uh, treasuries and get the benefit of US dollar appreciation as well. The other option is to open a brokerage account in the United States through a fintech like Stockel or Vested or through a brokerage that has presence in India like Interactive Brokers um, and invest in a bond ETF. This will give you access to a diversified portfolio of US bonds at a relatively low cost. On the downside, there are currency transaction costs when you remit money to the US. There is tax collected at source or TCS on any rem money that you remit over 7 lakh rupees. There is additional tax disclosure and compliance when you invest uh, through a foreign brokerage. All of these costs come into play. So should you invest in US bonds? Currently, the mathematics are finely balanced. The yields are close to uh, the Indian bond yields if you factor in historical currency depreciation. A lot depends on how much the rupee continues to depreciate against the dollar in the future. But if US yields keep rising, beyond a point, the maths will skew clearly in favor of US bonds. The other uh, reason or situation why you might want to invest in US bonds is if you have expenditure in dollars or if you have children who are studying in the US who will face expenditure in dollars. For these uh, categories of people, it might make sense to invest in US bonds.